Now we have to see the what is mean by promoters. How the promoters are increasing the activity of catalyst. That we have to see. Promoters are a substances which are responsible to change the activity of the catalyst. Being they are not the, even though they are not the catalyst, or sometimes they are very feeble catalyst, very weak catalyst. That substances are called the promoters. In short, promoters are the substances which promotes the activity of catalyst. Means what? These are the substances which are responsible for the increase of activity or the potential of catalyst to catalyze the reactions. Even though that substance is not a catalyst, but due to its presence, the activity of catalyst, the rate of reaction increased due to its presence even though it is not actually a catalyst. But it is increasing the activity of the catalyst. That substances are called the promoters, which promotes the activity of catalyst. So now we have to see some examples. Haber synthesis of ammonia. In this case, nitrogen is reacted with hydrogen in the presence of catalyst iron and forming the ammonia. It is a ammonia synthesis, Haber synthesis of for manufacture of ammonia. In this ammonia formation, iron is acting as a catalyst. Whenever we are adding molybdenum or the aluminum oxide in the given reaction, then what happens? The activity of iron goes on increasing and the reaction is catalyzed further. The rate of reaction increases. Means this molybdenum here is acting as a catalyst for a catalyst. Means what? It is accelerating, increasing the capacity or the activity of the catalyst and due to that reason that reaction goes further faster to completion. Such a substances which promotes the activity of catalyst, that substances are called the promoters. In this case, iron is a catalyst <coughs> in the manufacture of ammonia in the Haber's process. I am acting here as a catalyst. But whenever we are adding the molybdenum in the given reaction, then the activity of iron goes on increasing and the reaction is catalyzed. For the further, it increases the rate of reaction. Hence, the molybdenum here <coughs> is acting as a promoter for the iron catalyst. Then, second example. In the preparation of methanol or synthesis of methanol from the carbon monoxide and hydrogen, zinc oxide or the chromium oxide is used. Both are the catalyst. Means in some cases, to go the reaction faster or efficiently, we are using sometimes the combination or the mixture of two catalysts and on in using the mixture of catalyst <coughs> the rate of reaction goes on increasing. In such a case these are zinc oxide or chromium oxide are acting as a promoters to each other. Means promoters are the substances Although it is not a catalyst, it is increasing the activity or promotes the activity of the catalyst that substances are called the promoters. And in the first reaction, in the manufacture of ammonia, iron is a catalyst 
and molybdenum is acting as a promoter. It promotes the activity of iron. In the synthesis of methane, from carbon monoxide and hydrogen, zinc oxide and chromium oxides are a mixture of these two catalysts is used. These two catalysts are acting as a promoters to each other and promoting the activity of first by another and another by first in this case. This is the definition of promoters and the examples of promoters. Then the, how the promoters are playing the role to increase the activity of catalyst that we have to see. First of all, I am explaining the how the activity of the catalyst is increasing by the change of lattice space. See in this diagram, this is a nickel catalyst. In this nickel catalyst, hydrogen molecule is adsorbed on its surface. Adsorption is a process, it is a surface phenomenon. The another molecules gets adsorbed on the surface only. In this case, hydrogen molecule gets adsorbed on the surface of the nickel. And due to adsorption of hydrogen on the nickel, this adsorption process of the catalyst with the hydrogen will help to go reaction faster. In this case, this is the distance between the crystal particles without catalyst. In this case, we have not used the catalyst. Only we have used the catalyst. And hydrogen molecule is adsorbed on its surface. After adsorption, these two atoms of the hydrogen are slightly away from each other and to that reason, the covalent bond between the hydrogen molecule or the hydrogen atoms in the hydrogen molecule is slightly weakened due to the adsorption on nickel crystals. This will help to go the reaction faster due to the weak weakening of the bonds of the hydrogen atom after adsorption on the nickel. Whenever we are adding molybdenum as a promoter in the nickel, then what happens? The distance between nickel atoms increases. Distance between crystal particles with catal catalyst, with promoter, not catalyst. Here we have to use the word catalyst for catalyst or the promoter. Without the promoter, and with the promoter. In the second diagram, in this diagram, these are the particles of nickel. In between that, molybdenum particles are inserted. After inserting the molybdenum particles in the nickel particles, what happens? The dis distance between them is further increased. Distance between the crystal particles with the promoters further increases. And due to that one, this what happens? Space lat lattice space is increasing. And due to that reason, whatever the hydrogen atoms or the hydrogen molecule which is adsorbed on the nickel crystal, then the covalent bond between the hydrogen atoms in the hydrogen molecule gets further weakened by stretching or by increasing the distance between the hydrogen atoms. When the distance between hydrogen atom is further increased, it becomes a weak one. Covalent bond is weakened for the further cleavage. Means on addition of a promoter to the catalyst nickel, in the, the distance between the crystals increases, space lattice increases, or lattice space increases. And due to the increase of the space lattice, whatever the adsorbent 
adsorbed molecules of the hydrogen get molecules or bonds between that hydrogen molecule become weaken or became weak and that can be broken easily for the further reaction means reaction go faster on addition of promoter to the catalyst means what happens the activity of nuclear catalyst further increased the due to the addition of molybdenum why it is so because after addition of molybdenum the further increase of space lattice or the lattice spacing is increased by the addition of or due to the addition of molybdenum and what are the molecules of hydrogen which is adsorbed on the surface of the nickel the bond between that hydrogen molecule further weakened and that can be broken easily for the further reaction means the reaction could go further easily in this way promoters are helping to the catalyst by increasing the lattice space by increasing the lattice space what are the molecules which are, which are adsorbed on the surface of the crystal that in that molecules the covalent bonds present between them gets weak and and that can be broken easily for the further reaction means the rate of reaction goes faster then now we have to see the increase of another reason why the promoters are promoting the action of catalyst that another reason is the increase of ticks and cracks i am explaining how the ticks and cracks are helping to increase the reaction rate for go faster and so on now i am explaining the how the ticks and cracks are formed due to the addition of promoters on addition of promoters to the catalyst ticks and cracks are increased on increasing ticks and cracks the reaction go faster due to the further increase of adsorption of the reacting molecules on the the adsorber for example nickel crystal here i'm showing you how the ticks and cracks are formed ticks and cracks what are present in the catalyst that are responsible for the adsorption of molecules on the surface when your ticks and cracks are more then the more adsorbent molecules get adsorbed on the adsorbent and due to the increase of concentration on the molecules surface of the catalyst the reaction go faster These are the nickel particles. This is an a active peak, and this is a crack. whenever promoter is added to the catalyst such peaks with the valency more valency these are the available valencies for the adsorption of the adsorbent on the adsorbent 
this is on the crystal and on the catalyst. These are the active centers where or the peaks where the more adsorption of the reacting molecule is possible. And such cracks are also created due to the promoters on the catalyst surface and due to that reason what happens the more and the more reacting molecules get adsorbed on the surface of the catalyst. Being the concentration of the reactant increases on the surface of the catalyst, the reaction rate is also increasing. In this way, the rate of reaction increases with the help of catalyst. And the activity of catalyst is further increased by the another substances that is called the promoters. These promoters are changing the space lattice. They change the lattice space. Due to changing lattice space, the, whatever the number of reactant molecules which are, which are adsorbed on the surface of the catalyst, their bonds become weak and one and they can be broken easily for the other reaction and the reaction go faster. The second reason how they are promoting the action of the catalyst that is the increase of peaks and the cracks. Whenever the promoter is added to the catalyst such peaks and cracks are developed more on the surface of the catalyst. And being the increase of peaks and cracks on the catalyst, due to the introduction of or the addition of promoters, these peaks and cracks are responsible for the more adsorption of the reacting molecules. And being the concentration of reacting molecules increases on the surface of the catalyst, the rate of reaction goes on increasing. Means the activity of catalyst increases. This is regarding the, this is the explanation regarding the what is mean by promoter or the definition of promoter. Promoter is a substance although it is not a, even though it is not a catalyst, it is promoting the activity of the catalyst. Or sometimes it is a feebly, if it is a feeble or a weak catalyst. That substance which increases the or promotes the activity of the catalyst, that substances are called the promoters. These are the examples. Iron is pro, iron, activity of iron catalyst is promoted by the molybdenum. Zinc oxide and chromium oxide are acting as the promoters for each other. And how the Promotion action is going on. That is explained with the help of. It is not very much clear how the promoters are acting or enhancing or increasing the activity of the catalyst in detail. But whatever the information is available, as per that information, it is made clear that the change of space lattice and increase of peaks and cracks is possible to the introduction of promoters and hence the activity of catalyst is increased. Such substances are called the promoters. These are the very important substances which are enhancing the activity of the catalyst for the further reaction to increase the rate of reaction. Thank you.